name is Imari Santiago. I am the student ambassador at the University of Puerto Rico at Bayamon. And today's tutorial will be talking about the vocational test prep in medical and nursing. So this begins in our main page, which is heads.org, which is the screen that you're seeing right here. And to access these uh, these tests, you will have to access first the virtual plaza and enter the student placita option. Once here, you will be looking for the Peterson's test prep, which is formal formerly known as the Testing and Education Reference Center, or TURC for short. And here you will look for your university. Each university has a specific signing code. Be sure to know yours, with, whether it's with your stu student ambassador or contacting the office directly to our email info at heads.org or by texting or calling 787-616-3201. In my case, my campus is the University of Puerto Rico, so I will just go with that option. Here is where it would ask for you to log in, but since I already logged in, it won't ask me anymore. And you will go to the Peterson's test prep. Once inside, you will have to create or register. I already have uh, an account, but this is how the register menu would look like. So once I decide to log in, it's very good for you to have an account so it can monitor and remember your progress throughout these tests. So to find these tests I'm talking to you guys about, you have to go to the vocational test prep and here you will have the different uh, career options. So today we will be focusing on medical and nursing. In this option, you will have the, the different tests for the DAT, the NCLEX, the PCAT, and you have the eBooks for some of these. So if I decide to study for the dental admission test, also known as the DAT, it will bring me to this page and here you will have the prep and test courses. So to see the content, you will just go to the content option and you will see that you have two tests available and it's divided by section. You can also see your grades depending on how many sections you have done. In my case, I have only practiced two of these as examples. So it will tell me how much I have how, what was my grade and my percentile. And you can also look for your class progress. This is based on my current grade, the minimum of my final, and how much of the content I have visited and spent on it. So if I were to practice one of these sections today, I would just go to the content. And let's say I want to go to the reading comprehension. And here, you will see how much time you have in the test, the times uh, or attempts you have, and the instructions, just in case. So if I were to start my quiz, you will have to your left side the how many questions you have per page. So you can just skip ahead through them or you can just scroll down here. Since this is passage based, you have the passage at the beginning and how many questions you'll be answering with this passage. Here you will see the time running and how many attempts you have done so far. So if I were to read this passage and start answering them, of course, when you guys do it, you will have read this consciously and analyze all of the questions to so do your best. Here, as I am marking the answers, you will see right here that it tells you which questions you have comp uh, finished so you can go back or just know you can move forward. And Next page, it will be the same. You have the passage and the different questions. Let's just assume that I am done with it right now. I finished the test. I will just scroll down and submit my quiz. 
of course, it will tell you that you still have 28 unanswered questions. So you can just click on one of them and go back to finish them if it's the case that you forgot or accidentally skipped it to make sure that you finished it all. Now I am sure and I'm going to submit my quiz and here it will tell me right here. It will tell you which ones you got incorrect, which one is a correct answer, and it will give you feedback as to why it is a correct answer. It is available for all of the questions, even those you got correct. For example, this one I got correct, but it will still explain to me why it is the correct one. So you can um, practice more of that knowledge you already have. So even if I skipped Let's just say one of the ends, I, the third passage, I didn't do it, but it will still give me the feedback as to which one is the correct and why it's the correct one. So just because you skip one doesn't mean you won't have an, an accurate result or explanation as to why it's correct. Here, it will tell me my score. I got four out of 50 and my percentile. Afterwards, it will give me, once again, the description of how much I got per test and my class average and my score average based on others that have taken the same test using this resource. And I go back to content. And here you have the notifications that will tell you if you still haven't finished something or if you wanna go back. This is why you, you should have a, an account to log in so you can record your progress so far. Same here, it is available for the NCLEX. Here you have the book and the PCAT, you also have the ebook. Here you have the NCLEX practice test and the PCAT exam prep. It is the same format that you just saw with the DAT. So I hope all this information is good that you guys can gain enough knowledge and practice from them to better your scores or fortify your knowledge already. Remember that if you don't have your code to access this database, you can just send an email to info at heads.org or call or text the 787-616-3201. And remember to use the resources and share the resources. These are available to anyone and everyone.